Alright, I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, okay? Um, I had talked to, uh, to, uh, one of my, uh, children's mothers, okay, uh, to put it nicely. And um, she was telling me that uh, one of my sons had told her because he uh, he recently uh, dropped out of school, and um, she asked him why he didn't want to go back to school, you know. And his reply was, "What's the point?" Now he ain't in the truth. But just, you know, in this balance to this thing, man. Because, of course, we know, as the scriptures say, if you don't work, you don't eat, okay? You have to uh, survive in this captivity, okay? Here in this, this, this life, you have to survive, man. So there are things that you have to do to survive now. That's the balance to that. Okay. Now. He. His reply was. What's the point? He's like. I'm going to work. I'm going to go to work every day. Go to school. I'm going to go to work every day. And then. After all of that. I'm going to die. <laughs> you know. But it's a balance to it. Okay. And he don't have an understanding. So. When she told me that. The first thing popped into my head was the book of Ecclesiastes. Okay. So, I mean, he was right to a certain extent. What is the point? Because as the scriptures say, all vanity is, you know, all is vanity. You know, right here on the screen it says, Ecclesiastes 1 and 14, I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Okay. But like I said, he doesn't have an understanding to that, you know, because there's a balance. You have to work. You have to do things. And I ain't advocating, you know, going to school, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now, you might want to take up a trait or whatever, you know, and just get something going because you do need to have skills. You do need to know how to do certain things, you know, and not just so much for work, just for, you know, Knowing how to work on cars is a good skill for an example, okay? Um, your car breaks down. You know how to work on cars, so that's a good skill to know. Not to mention you can, you know, make your little hustle on the side, you know, doing uh, car repairs, okay? So that's that's the balance to it, man. You know, you got to work here in this place, okay in order to eat all right because nothing's going to be given to you freely okay which um if in you see my like videos a brother had the brother from the camp uh, as it was i just did a uh video on that okay because you know jake wants something for nothing all right but i'm gonna get into this scripture and um just break it down as i go all right this is the book, uh, matter of fact, before I even read, I'm going to bring out the definition of uh, vain, okay, so you can get an understanding of what vain is, vanity, you know. And once again, this is from the Random House Dictionary of the English Language, the unabridged uh, edic uh, edition, uh, copyright 1950, all right, it's the definition of vain it says without real significance value or importance <laughs> you know so we're we gonna get into it all right it says uh baseless or worthless all right you ever see somebody just taking selfies of themselves that's vanity that's an example of 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 something that's vain okay you ever saw a cat riding on the 23s 24 sitting up high you know 
uh, dripping candy and all that. That's vanity, man. All that's vanity. Okay? It says, without real significance, and that's all without real significance, value or importance. There's no importance to that, man. Okay? It says, baseless or worthless. Vain pageantry. Vain display. Excessively proud of or concerned about one's own appearance. Somebody that stay in the mirror all the time, man. Hell, they got what's called a vanity mirror. Okay? <laughs> it says, excessively proud or concerned about one's own appearance. And that's the, that's the mind state of the typical American. Okay? Just... How do I look to everybody else? How do I look to everybody else? Meanwhile, while you sitting there concerned with how you look and how you're perceived to the rest of the world, to these other people that don't matter, they're thinking the same thing. So y'all all are being vain. And it's all worthless, baseless. It says... Excessively proud or concerned about one's own appearance, qualities, achievements. Oh, we won the, we won the uh Super Bowl. You know, we got the uh championship trophy. Achievements in life. I graduated uh valedictorian in my class. I had an aunt that graduated salutatorian, died dirt po. But she got an achievement. But what was the point? What was the what it was worthless in the end. And let's say this. If she'd have made a million dollars, it still was worthless. Because when you get to the end of the book of Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter and thirteenth verse, it says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. After all this. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Okay? Anything outside of that is vanity, man. Okay? Nothing, none of that stuff matters. Our goal is to get on the chariots. Okay? Nothing else matters, man. Okay? And everything that you need to do to make your calling and election sure, man. Okay? Um, excessively proud or concerned with about one's own appearance, qualities, achievements, etc. Conceited. Vain in her own good figure and fine clothes. Oh, Lord. We see that constantly. Okay? I don't have an Instagram personally. You know. But I see a lot of stuff. That gets posted from Instagram, uh, Snapchat, uh, whatever else they got. I don't know. I I got YouTube, man. I'm I'm an old man. <laughs> I don't really give a shit about none of that stuff, to be quite honest. You know, no Facebook, none of that shit. All right, I never had a MySpace. Okay. Um. Uh, Uh, vain in her good figure and fine clothes. These women, every picture they take their asses in the goddamn picture, man. Oh, look at my Louis V. Look at my, uh... Well, you hoes probably got knockoffs. And I'm talking about you Israelite, so-called, uh, women. Okay? Uh, what else? Gucci. Uh, Prada. Coach. What's the dude? Uh, Michael Kors. Okay? Fine clothes. That is vain. What the scriptures say? Um, let's see, can I find it real, real quick? Real, real fast. Well, this is one of them. This is uh, Philippians 3 and 8. It says, Yea, doubtless, 
and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Yahweh Shah. Okay. Um That's a good one. That's not the one I wanted. I think this is it. Um, this is it. This is uh, 1 Timothy 6. And uh, I'll start at... I'm going to get straight to the point. This is uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 7. It says, For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Okay? So what good it do to get the the flies, fly, the flies? Huh? What good does it do? Do you think the Heavenly Father gives it is concerned with that? Okay? Because he's not. I'm gonna get into it, man. Okay. Uh I'm gonna finish this definition. I'm gonna get right into the scripture. In uh the book of Ecclesiastes. It says, um, Proceeding from or showing personal vanity, vain attempt to keep the schooner off the reef, <laughs> Esau, archaic, senseless, or foolish, in vain, without effect or avail, to no purpose, to please in vain, in an, in, in, in an improper or irreverent manner. To take Yahweh's name in vain. <laughs> now I'm reading out the dictionaries that this says God, but I'm I'm using the name of the Heavenly Father. Okay, uh, unimportant, travail, trifling, nugatory, see useless, egotistical, self-complacent, vain, glorious, proud, arrogant, over overweening, fruitless man fruitless ain't we supposed to be gathering fruit okay storing up the fruits of our labor for the hit for the kingdom of heaven man hmm unveiling all right let me get right into these scriptures man this is the book of ecclesiastes and i'm gonna read the headings and all that uh, one in one it says the preacher shows that all things here below are vain Ecclesiastes one in one or the preacher the words of the preacher the son of David king of Jerusalem who was King David's son King Solomon okay it says vanity of vanity said the preacher vanity of vanities all is vanity <laughs> man it says, what profit had a man of all his labor which he taketh under the sun? One generation passes away, and another generation cometh, and the earth abideth forever. The, uh, the sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteth to his place where he arose, or panted, okay? The wind goeth toward the south, and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually, and the wind returneth again according to his circuits. Because everything got a course, man. Alright? The Most High set all this up perfectly. Okay? It's this devil that's destroying the earth. And and, and the, the order and the course of things uh, that they're supposed to be in, man. It says, verse 7, Ecclesiastes 1 and 7. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Okay. Unto the place from whence the rivers come. Thither they return again. All things are full of labor. Man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done, is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun and there is no new things under the sun okay now in verse 9 when you go to Ecclesiastes 6 and 10 and I'll get it you'll see what this talking about man 
It's Ecclesiastes 6 and 10. It says, That which hath been is named already, and it is known that it is man. Neither may he contend with him that is mightier than him. Mightier than he, Salakia. Because your arms, as they say, are too short to box with the Heavenly Father. Okay? Um, back in verse 9 in Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Okay. Is there anything whereof it may be said, See, this is new. It had been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things, letting you know that it's talking about men. Okay. Because you know objects can't have, they don't have memory. Okay, it says there's no mem remembrance of former things because we've lived before. It ain't no YOLO. All right, you keep coming back, man. Your spirit is pure energy, man. Energy can't be destroyed. You learn that in school. Okay, it says, Is there anything whereof it may be said? See, this is new. It had been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. I, the preacher, was king over all Israel in Jerusalem, and I gave my heart. Not that thing beating in your chest, and it's going to explain it, okay? Which is a good way to prove that your heart is your mind. Lob. Okay. It says. Verse 12. Ecclesiastes 1 and 12. I the preacher was king over all of Israel. In Jerusalem. And I gave my heart to seek and search out. By wisdom. Concerning all things that are done under heaven. This sore travail had the heavenly father Yahweh. Given to the sons of man. To be exercised therewith. Or to afflict them. Okay. I have seen all the works. That are done under the sun. And behold. All is vanity and vexation of spirit. Let me give you an example man. My job. What I do for a living. Is. I go. And I clean buildings. Okay. Offices. Things of that nature. I'm a janitor. Okay. Or to put it, you know, in a, a more kosher light, I'm a custodian. <laughs> I'm a janitor, man, okay? I clean up every night just to come back and to see it all messy again. <laughs> Let me hit you even harder. All that what I do, all of what we are doing... The things that we labor in, the things you know you don't buy your house, you got a mortgage, you got a bank account, you got this, you got your cars, insurance, all that shit. Guess what? Like I read in the scripture, you're not taking it with you. One, two, it's gonna all be burnt up with fervent heat. Now, in my son's mind, he was like, "What's the point?" But you have to have a balance to that, man. Because if you don't work, you don't eat. Alright? So, this scripture plays in my mind every night. Every day. And you get tired of doing the same shit over and over, man. The same shit. Same house, same car, same woman, same, same, same. All this shit is boring, man. Okay? And it's vain. And if we're surrounded by wickedness constantly, it's all a vexation of spirit. And this whole book is good, man. It helped you. The whole... All the scriptures are comforting, man. 
I just find a lot of comfort in the book of Ecclesiastes, man. It keep, it keep me good, man, you know? From just like, God damn, you know? The whole duty of man is to fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and do His will, man. Keep His commandments, man. And that consists of a lot of things. All right. It also it let me tell you one thing it consists of that one of the brothers had spoke on. One of the things is doing these videos and doing what the apostles and the elders uh, set for us to do. All right. Whether you like it or not, you can either do it or don't do it. Okay? I'm going to get back before I go too far. Um, this is Ecclesiastes 1 and 14. It says, I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. And that which is wanting cannot be numbered. I commune with mine own heart, saying, <laughs> commune with his own heart. All right, he wasn't talking to that uh vessel, that 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 muscle, or you know that that organ in your chest that pumps blood. Okay, wasn't he wasn't talking about that? He's talking about his mind. And I'm gonna keep going, and you'll see if the you know. If you have understanding, it says, if Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah gives you that understanding, Salakia. It says, and I gave my heart to know a Salakia. I commune, this is verse 16, Ecclesiastes 1 and 16. And I commune with mine own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea. My heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge. In other words, he, he saw many things. He learned many things. He got great experience, great knowledge. Verse 17, And I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. And I perceived that this also is a vexation, is vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief. The more you learn, man, you like, golly, man. Okay? And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow, man. You realize how much more you just can this shit be any more wicked than what it is? Can these people be more vain than what they are? Are people that damn gone? Chapter 2, and this is the point. Vanity of human courses. Okay. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 2 and 1. I said in mine heart, Go to now. I will prove thee with mirth. Therefore enjoy pleasure. And behold, this also is vanity. I said of laughter, it is mad. And of mirth, what do with it? At the end of the day, you're going to be sitting there at home. Is this it? Is this it? No. That's why we're doing what we're doing now. Which is the whole duty of man. Because no, this is not it. All this shit is vain, man. Excuse my French. Merci. Oui, oui. All right. All right. I said, of laughter it is mad, and of mirth what doeth it? I sought in mine heart to give myself unto wine, yet acquainting mine heart with wisdom, and to lay hold on folly, till I might see what was that good for the sons of men, which they should do under the heaven all the days of their life. I made me great works, I builded me houses, I planted me vineyards, I made me gardens and orchards, and I planted trees in them of all kinds of fruits. I made me pools of water, to water therewith the wood that bringeth forth trees. I got me servants, 
Huh? King Solomon had servants? That ain't right, huh? It says, and maidens, and had servants born in my house. Also, I had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me. Okay. Um, real quick. So, like, y'all want to see something. Yeah, yeah, this is the point I wanted to make, and I'm sorry, Salaki. Back in Ecclesiastes 1 and 16, this is the point I wanted to get out. It says, I commune with mine own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate and have gotten more wisdom. So do you get wisdom in this, that thing that's pumping in your chest, or do you get wisdom in your mind? Okay? That was the point, letting you know that your heart is your mind when you say oh i love you with all my heart not this this okay now i want to go back to uh chapter 2 and verse 7 it says i got me servants and maidens and had servants born in my house also i had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me at the most man I gathered me also silver and gold and the peculiar treasure <laughs> of kings and of the provinces I get me I get me men singers and women singers and the delights of the sons of men and musical instruments you know Jake Take like the bump that bumped them jails. And that of all sorts. So I was great and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. Also, my wisdom remained with me. So I had all these possessions plus all the knowledge that I had. Verse 10, chapter 2 and 10, Ecclesiastes. And whatsoever mine eyes desired, I kept not from them. I withheld not from my heart from any joy, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my portion of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my, heart, that my hands had brought, and on the labor that I had labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no profit under the sun, man. Verse 12, and I turned myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly. For what can the man do that cometh after the king, even that which hath been already done? Then I saw that wisdom excelled, excelled folly as far as light excelled darkness. The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walketh in darkness. And I myself perceived also that one event happened to them all. <laughs> when the nukes get dropped on this bitch, it ain't gonna matter who got what and what you know. You either gonna be saved or you ain't. Okay? But the point is, I'm gonna read it again. It says, Then said I in my heart, as it happened to the fool, so it happened even to me, and why was... No, Salaki, let me go back up. I'm sorry. It says, I turned myself to behold wisdom, this is verse 12, and madness, and folly, for what can the man do that cometh after the king, even that which had been already done? Then I saw that wisdom excelled folly as far as light excelled darkness. The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walketh in darkness. And I myself perceived also that one event happened to them all. So, well, what's the point? All is vanity. Okay. 
It says, then said I in my heart, as it happened it to the fool, so it happened it even to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart, that this also is vanity. For there is no remembrance of the wise more than of the fool forever. Seeing that which now is in the days to come shall all be forgotten. And how died the wise man as the fool? Therefore I hated life. Alright. I might come back again. Lord willing the spirit will. You know. And just get back into this. Okay. But I just wanted to stop right there man. And he got a brother. I think it's one of the brothers in. Um, I think it's the brother. I think his name is Pasha Mott. And I think the name of his page is GMS I Hate My Life, man. This is all BS. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man, man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Do what you're supposed to do, man. Okay. Um. Yes, we hate our lives, man, because this is this is hell. Okay, and it's all vanity. Us brothers hasten today, man. We waiting patiently. For the kingdom of heaven to come, man. Alright. So with that, I'm going to stop right there. And once again, give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect. Until the next time, Shalom.